Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have some more figures that give us a particular pattern and we're supposed to get the next one in that pattern. So in each case, we were given three figures. What is the fourth one going to look like? On the first series here, we have a circle, a square, a circle, and presumably that pattern holds, we probably will need a square there. Also notice that all of them are kind of divided with those two lines across. So I'd assume that we have a square here and we have to draw the two diagonal lines. Then we also see dots. We see a location here with one dot, two dots, three dots, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So we have to draw one, two, and three dots somewhere. And notice that they tend to go around the pattern in a counterclockwise direction. The one dot is here, then it is here, then it is there. If the pattern continues, we can expect it to be over here. With the two dots, it's down here, it's to the side, it's to the top. And again, if the pattern holds, we just have two dots over here. And with the three dots, they're here, they're on top, they're on the left, and we'd expect them to be at the bottom. And that seems to be a reasonable pattern for that first series. On the next set, we have triangles. Notice that the point here is pointing up, then it's pointed to the right, then it's pointing down, so it looks like it's rotating in a clockwise direction. Assuming that pattern holds, then the next one would have to be like this. On the next set, we have two figures. We start with a triangle and a square inside that is shaded. Now we have a square with a pentagon inside and a pentagon with a hexagon inside. So it looks like the number size increases for the outside figure and the inside figure. So we have a triangle, a square, a pentagon. That means we'll end up with a hexagon over here. So there's a hexagon for the outside figure. And then for the inside figure, we should need a heptagon, seven sides. So let's see, how do we draw a heptagon? Not quite an oxagon, so it's like there, 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 so to the point. So here, there, and there. Not quite a, uh, same, with the same sides, with the same length of sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm uh, missing one, so I go like this. And then like that. Now we have seven sides, I believe. Let's see here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. I've got it. And then we want to shade that on the inside. So we have six sides on the outside, seven sides on the inside, and the pattern then holds. I didn't do a good job drawing it, but close enough. And then here, notice we have a square. A square inside a square kind of looks like a diamond, but if on that side, so that looks like a square. Now we have the square, the diamond, the square, and it looks like the pattern is that we add one more on the inside each time. So we can draw the outside square. Then we can draw this diamond. Then we draw the square in here, and then presumably if the pattern holds, we would have another diamond in here. And so that seems to be the next figure expected in that particular pattern. And so again, it's the logical thinking. What do we see? How does it progress? And how do you think it's going to continue if the pattern holds? And that's how it's done.